Barack Shalom Shalom back at it again with another video presentation and we're going to get right into it uh, we're going to go into um, the wide DNA results of Adolf Hitler and we're also going to show you guys on how looks can also be quite deceiving the same way on how you have phenotypically people who look black but when you take the Y DNA results their ancestry really goes back to Europe. The same thing also happens to some white people, man. You also got people who look Caucasians based upon the phenol structure and in phenotyping. You're gonna find out when you take a Y DNA results or Y DNA testing on the paternal side of the family, you're gonna find out that they also have black ancestry. And so we're gonna get into the Y DNA results of Adolf Hitler and it is on Haratz.com and it says the DNA test reveals Hitler's Jewish and African roots number one there's no such thing as Jewish and there's also no such thing as African but that's a whole nother topic you guys who've been in this knowledge for many years you already know the deal the further would not have been happy to learn he was more Berber tribesmen than Aryan supermen Adolf Hitler may have owned more to the subhuman races he tried to exterminate than to his Aryan compatriots. According to the new fighting published in Belgium this week, Hitler may have married a Jew. In search for the Flemish language magazine Snack, journalist John Paul Mulders traced Hitler's living relatives in the further native Australia as well as the United States. The results of this study are surprising, said Ronnie DeCorti, a genetic interview by Knack. Hitler would not have been happy. Genetics identify groups of chromosomes called haplogroups, genetic fingerprints that define populations. According to Mulder's, Hitler's dominant haplogroup is what? E1B1B. He doesn't carry the E1B1A because the E1B1A whose ancestors came to the Americas on cargo slave ships throughout North Central, South America, and the Caribbean Isle, those are the Israelites. E1B1B, that's dealing with Ishmael's YDNA haplogroup, with a lot of quote unquote Arabs living in the quote unquote so called Middle East or West Asia, and many of them also dwelling to our North eastern section of Africa but it says according to Mulder's Hitler's dominant hyper group is what E1B1B is relatively rare in Western Europe but strongest in some 25% of Greeks so 25% of Greek people also of I should probably say Greek men also possess the E1B1A or I should probably say the E1B1B Y DNA hyper group and as well as the Sicilians, because now you're going into what? You're going into the Moors. The Moors of Spain, Portugal, and the black mobility of Europe. Because you're going to find out that those Moors who were ruling throughout that region, when you study their white DNA, their white DNA is E1B1B. Those Moors were Ishmaelites. You really know that the Arabs of antiquity are also black. And it says who apparently acquired the genes from Africa. Between 50% and 80% of North Africans share Hitler's dominant group. Yeah, the northern eastern sections of Africa, when you check out the continent of Africa, you're gonna find two half of groups over there, E1B1B, and then you're gonna find E1B1A up in West Africa. You see? So when you're dealing with the majority of the Ethiopians, that you see on a day-to-day -day basis, the people of Heritia, and so on and so forth, they also carry the E1B1B Y-DNA haplogroup. Those are not Hymetic people. Those are not Hamites. The Hamites live on the outskirts, and they carry the, if I'm not mistaken, the A1F haplogroup. That would be their genes. But most Ethiopians and Eritians, Northeastern Africans that you see, the majority of them are Ishmaelites, and as well as most of the Arab countries also. 
whether you, whether it's um, Saudi Arabia and so on and so forth, they also carry the exact same Y-DNA paternal genes as who? As Adolf Hitler. So more than likely, Adolf Hitler's forefathers, they could have been one of the Moors or one of the black mobility who ruled Europe because they also had concubines. They also lay with white women. So he had a black paternal ancestor who laid with a white woman and generations down the line, all of his descendants, male descendants, laid with other white women to produce him. And that's why Adolf Hitler looks the way that he looks. But Adolf Hitler is not a white man. He looks like a white man phenotypically, but his lineage is he's, he's actually a quote unquote Semite or a Shemite. He's an Ishmaelite or a black Ishmaelite. That's his lineage. This is why I'm going to say it again. I said it plenty of times that looks can be deceiving until you take that Y DNA test. So it says uh, between 50% and 80% of North Africans share Hitler's dominant group, which is uh, especially prevalent among in the Berber tribes of Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Somalis. This is where you find a lot of the highest concentration, concentration of the Y DNA chromosome, the Y DNA genetic marker E1. B one B. More surprising still, perhaps, is that Hitler's second most dominant half of group is the most common in Ashkenazi Jews. The findings are fascinating if you look at them in terms of Nazi worldview, which is ascribed such as extreme priority to nations of blood and race. The court said, "Nack." said it would now petition Russian government archives to release a human jawbone wrapped in a blood silk cloth derived from Berlin bunker where Hitler is thought to have committed suicide and believed to have belonged to the Fuhrer who dream of engineering a Nazi Superman. For modern science, there are no more races. They already said this pure type of Superman and Nazi breeding programs to perfect purity was sheer fabrication. So the bottom line is simply this head off Hitler. Yeah, he looks like a white man based upon his phenotype, his phenotype structure, his hair texture. But guess what? They have his DNA sample. And his DNA sample, white DNA, paternal lineage, is E1B1B. Because you guys already know, based upon the scripture, your nationality, your lineage is determined and predicated upon the seed of your father so i'm gonna stop this video and i'll be back for the next one and i say shalom